Greetings, M squared here, and we're going to solve some logarithmic equations. And these are fairly simple ones. We really don't need a calculator too much, in case you don't remember your powers. But remember this rule, if you have log base A of B equals C, then we could rewrite that A to the C equals B. And we definitely want to use that formula when we're doing these, because these are ones that you can get things in the same base. So when you move to the the more difficult ones where you're having to use your calculator, then you probably won't need this formula quite as much, but you'll, you'll still use it sometimes. So, our first equation, and I had already started that, so I'm going to cover it up. If we have log of base x, log base x of 16 equals 2, then we can rewrite that x to the 2 equals 16. So x squared equals 16. Well, what squared equals 16? 4. So that was, that was an easy one. You probably remember what 4 squared is. Now this one, we'd say the base, 36, to this power, so to the 3 halves, equals x. Some people forget that a rational exponent, that the numerator means a power, the denominator means a root. So this is the square root of 36. We could rewrite that like this, that's the square root, and then cubed. So what is the square root of 36? 6, so now we have 6 cubed. And 6 cubed, trying to remember what that is, yep, 216. So we know that x equals 216. So it's all about that little, pow that little log rule. You've got to know this. If you don't, these are really difficult. So again, base to this equals that. So 7 squared equals x. Well, what is 7 squared? 49. So x is 49. 2 to what power equals 256? Well, we've got to use our calculator on that one. 2 to what power? You know it's because of the ones you're doing, you know that it's, um, 256 is a power of 2. This isn't. So, you know, we can do 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. That's what I'm thinking. 256. And notice I did 4s, but that represents two twos each time. So 2, 4, 6, 8 twos. So I know that it's 2 to the 8th equals 256. And you could have just tried that. You know, you could say 2 to the 7th. What's that? No, I need to go more. And then you do 2 to the 8th, and you'd find that it's 56. So it's just a matter of trying. Okay, last one. You notice that this has some x's in it, so we're actually going to solve an equation at the end. So we, um, what I want you to notice here is that there's a log on both sides. And if there's a log to the same base on both sides, and that's all that's there, there's nothing like plus in front of it or after it, then we can say this is equal to this. Because if these are equal, then what they are, uh, what the log, what you're taking the log of is equal. So that means x squared plus x equals 12. This is quadratic, so we're going to minus 12 from both sides. And then we factor. You can always use the quadratic formula, but this is pretty easy to factor. We know we're going to have an x and an x here to get our x squared. We know that we need something that multiplies to negative 12 but adds to 1. So we know it's plus 4 and minus 3. And then we get x equals negative, sorry, positive 3 or negative 4. And those are our answers. And we could always double check. If we put 3 in here, we get 3 squared plus 3. That's 9 plus 3. That's 12. If we put a negative 4 in, we get 16 minus 4, which also equals 12. So that's our check. It's always important to check. And this is M squared, signing out.